Hey everybody, coming to you live from uh, my workshop in the basement of my house. I have a fairly large basement and built up a pretty cool kind of studio that you can see in the background here. This is where I do a lot of my video work and pretty much all my work uh, around creating content and distributing it out and all the marketing work that I do. And uh, actually you can see my dog right over there. Big huge basement also doubles as my kid's playroom. So. Lots of fun stuff down here in the basement, but I wanted to um, do want to just share with you what my basement looks like. Actually, I am starting a new series here. I read a ton of stuff online. Uh, I know a lot of people do. Most of it is marketing related, and um, I wanted to start to share with you some of the really genius articles that uh, that I find online because I use a lot of these articles as the inspiration for the different things that I write. Um, lately, some of my best work has been done on. Uh, Hey, what's going on, man? It's good to see you. Um, uh, you know, I do some of my best work on a newsletter that I do inside of my business. So, so the work that I do is mostly around helping independent insurance agents, and I have a newsletter there on agencynation.com. And if you're interested in just checking out that work, even if you're not in the insurance industry, you can go to agencynation.com forward slash newsletter. So I am using um, – I use articles that other people write a lot of times as the inspiration for what actually gets put into those newsletters. So – I, I, I said to myself, you know, I'm constantly filing through stuff, reading all kinds of different work from all kinds of different places. And I thought that, uh, it, you know, as I kind of think through these ideas and formulating them in my head, I might want to, it might be kind of cool to share them with you guys uh, out there uh, and then, you know, share these articles with you. So I kind of figured we'd start with something from, from Seth Godin, the kind of godfather of marketing. Uh, it's an everyday read for me, at least for the most part. I'm at least seeing what he's writing about every day. Some of the some of the topics don't always interest me or just may not have time, but I'm always kind of checking out what he's writing. So uh, I'm actually going to put the link to this article on Twitter, and, um, and you can find it uh, under the hashtag uh, Genius Read. So if you go to hashtag Genius Read on Twitter, you'll be able to find... Uh, this um, this article and I'll post it there right now and there so if you go to the hashtag genius read just do hashtag genius read and you can find the article that I'm talking about today so Seth writes this article and, and any questions or comments you have about this idea you know just just put them right here and we'll talk about them Seth wrote this really cool article a couple days ago and it's all about the idea of how we categorize our work and I, I think it's it's so timely, especially for for me personally. This was an incredibly timely article because uh, it, the the, t the title of the article is "Quantum Content and Blurred Lines." And the crux of this article, I, I'll let you read it if you want to figure it out. But the crux of it was for a long time because of uh, distribution. You know, really, when you think about it, um, it's. Uh, 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 the distribution and and just the fact that it was there was only so many ways to distribute content and there was only so many ways you know that, that kind of created a need to uh, categorize things at a high level so it, you know he points out you know jazz was jazz and polka was polka you know today there's actually a category uh, jazz polka right or something you know that's just the the concept that he's giving so what he's saying is because it's so easy to create and distribute content and information today, we can very easily um, it, uh, start to blur how we categorize things and it becomes, how do we stand out? Well, I'm going to take you know this concept over here and I'm going to mix it with this concept here. And I, I think that's, you know, it, James Altucher says all the time, um, you know, if you want to, you know, he calls it idea sex, right? You take an idea that, that people commonly know and you take another idea that people commonly know and you figure out a way to mix and mash them together and um, out of that kind of mix and match comes a unique idea no one's ever heard of it before and that allows you to stand out. And I, and I completely think that that idea has a ton of merit for sure. Um, one of the ways that we can stand out is be, you know, the best, you know, so, so in my particular case, right, my expertise is in the fact that I'm probably not the best marketer in the world. I'm also not the smartest guy in the insurance industry. But um, I, I, my expertise lies in being able to mix the very fairly unique world of insurance with um, internet marketing, right? So I have a very, I have a, a background in kind of very traditional internet. I shouldn't say traditional, but like uh, 
just content and internet marketing and all that kind of stuff. And that a lot of those principles have never, ever been applied to the independent insurance industry for sure, but even really the broader spectrum in terms of insurance carriers that have, you know, you look at what even like a traveler's insurance is doing, you know, they're doing good stuff, but it's certainly not cutting edge. I mean, it's very 2011, 2012, and they're a Dow Jones uh, 30 company. So, um, so I think that there's something there. But what Seth is saying, and this is where I think we really have to, um, I think this is really ha- where we have to, to kind of figure out who we're going to be and how we're going to distribute our information. And if you guys have thoughts on this, you know, just pop them in the comments. I- I'd love to hear what you have to say. But um, I th- he says that when we're starting to, you know, and this is the crux of his, his article, and again, you're, this is, uh, if you want to read this article, go to hashtag Genius Read on Twitter, and you can, uh, you'll find it. I just put the link in there. If you have suggestions for articles you'd like to see in this show, put them on Genius Read as well. So, um, Seth's advice is, in this world where there's tons and tons of subcategories, I mean, go to Amazon, and under marketing, there's, there's a, a thousand different little tiny categories. He's saying that the fragmentation of that categorization has created a world where it's tough for consumers like me or you to figure out what the thing that you've created actually is. And I think a lot of people are falling into this trap as they try to stand out. Um, So, you know, one of the methods for standing out is is build a unique thing. We talked about that, like the James Altucher idea sex idea. And what Seth's saying is maybe we've gone a little too far. And, And I would have to tend to agree with that. The more... Uh, I dig into the idea of content marketing, right? And, and I'm learning uh, just as you guys are every single day. Um, it really is about quality and having a unique voice. I don't think how you position your thing uh, or in, in terms of having this this unicorn, purple unicorn that has a rainbow following them around idea, I don't think that is as important as it is just being incredibly good at what you do and having this voice that is unique to you and stands out. Um, and that can be dialed into a very professional business context or into an incredibly kind of uh, progressive artsy um, mindset. I, I don't necessarily think that that matters. So when I think the, the big major takeaway from Seth's article is think about your work in terms of a category that people understand. When someone listens to your podcast, when someone hits your article, hits your website for the very first time, our first thought, just the way that our brains are wired is going to be, what is this thing? Is it a marketing blog? Is it, a, uh, is it an insurance blog? Is it a uh, real estate blog? Is it a... Um, yeah, dude, I'm 100%, I'm 100% with you. It, it really comes down to quality, right? So when they look at the thing, they want to immediately categorize it. And then the next step, right? So it's, okay, this is a uh, professional services blog, okay, in the accounting industry. And then their next, the very next thought they have is, what is the quality of this thing? So, so they're dialed, they want to, they want to categorize it. They want to say, okay, what is, what is this thing? And then the very next thought is how does the quality of this thing compare to what I would expect the quality of this type of thing to be? And where we get lost is if people have a hard time categorizing what that thing is, because because then they have nothing to compare it to unless it is so completely amazing that it stands out. And, and really that's the crux of what I'm trying to say is that if you're going to be this unique categorization that people are not used to and have never heard of before. The thing that you create needs to be so awesome that it stands out on its own, right? It needs to be so mind blowing that it stands out on its own. If it is, if it is standard or even close to average or just eh, and it's not, people aren't able to categorize it. They're just going to wipe it away because they're not going to understand what, uh, how they should even react to it or how it relates to other things in this little tiny niche that they don't understand. So um, niching down, very, very important to success, right? The riches are in the niches. But it's important to understand that get to that niche through a category that people otherwise understand, right? Get to things. Dave, it's great to see you, brother. Um, you know, we're, I know you just joined, but we're, we're talking about uh, this is a new series that I've come out. We're going to do it on Periscope called uh, uh, Genius Reads, uh, hashtag Genius Read. If you want to get the article we're talking about today, we're talking about an article from Seth Godin called Quantum Content and Blurred Lines, just kind of dissecting it. Um, 
and the, the whole crux of this this Periscope series is that I'm reading tons and tons of articles every day. I use them as the inspiration for the things that I create, and I thought it'd be a cool idea to share the articles that are um, inspiring me, that are changing the way I think, that are just kind of getting my creative juices flowing with everyone out there. So, uh, you know, think about how you categorize your work. Start with a category that is very easy for people to understand, and then dial into that niche and that expertise. Um, yeah, so so very good content there. You know, it's it's dial into that, dial into that, um, dial into that that niche. Don't start with the niche so specific and unique that people don't know where to put it. Uh, especially if it is fairly unique, um, like zip liners that also do graffiti, right? So if you're doing graffiti while you're zip lining. I don't know, maybe you have a hard time categorizing that. Maybe not. Maybe there's actually a ton of people that do that, and it makes complete sense to you. But um, I don't want to take up any more time on this article. I want to keep these periscopes fairly short. I want to appreciate uh, those of you who stopped by today. Uh, make sure you hit me up on Twitter if you have suggestions. Hashtag Genius Read. Uh, you can get this article from Seth. Tomorrow I'll be popping in to share another one with you. Make sure that you share this out with friends. Help me out. Let people know if you have suggestions, hit me up with the hashtag Genius Read. Let me know what suggestions you have, and uh, we'll keep uh, talking about great, inspiring articles and getting them in front of uh, more and more people and just helping people create better content through the work of others, right? Uh, the best copywriters steal. That's what we're here for, uh, building on top of other great ideas. So thanks, everybody. We're going to get out of here.